Hi hey, everyone, Paolo here. Welcome back to the channel. This is another Unreal Engine tutorial. This is part of my Unreal Engine UMG UI series. In this video, we're going to learn how to create modular widgets that you could reuse with other widgets. Modular widgets is a best practice pattern that you would see in some of the Epic Game sample projects like the Lyra project and this UI Material Lab where if I jump to applications here, this section is using reusable uh, components uh, for the buttons. So we're going to learn how to do that. Here is my very simple setup where when I hit play, I have this very basic buttons. So when I hit the new game here, it's just going to print string. What's that supposed to be? Or continue and quit. So it's not a full implementation of what it is. It's just a sample on how to create reusable uh, button widgets. Let's learn how to do this. All right, with the third person template, I'm going to open the content drawer. What I like to do is organize my stuff. So I'm going to create a main folder. I'm going to create a new folder called UI. And inside, right click, select user interface, widget blueprint. And select user widget. I'm going to call this the base button. So this is the reusable widget that we're going to create. So with this widget, we're not going to use the canvas panel. We're just going to use... Um, the overlay because we want to stack things on top of each other and here we're gonna use the border just a simple border border could only have one child so we're gonna add the text component cool with the text component selected I'm just gonna do a little bit of formatting here make sure they're aligned center align um, and then for the font make that 55 and scroll down a little bit uh, center align so you can't see the text right now because of the tint so let's go to the border and change the brush and change this tint to something darker all right that should do next Let's add another component. Let's add a button and put it like so. And I'm going to call this hit button. Cool. Pretty much that should be it. Let's resize this to the desired size because we're not using the whole screen. Cool. Now to make this reusable, we need to expose some variables. So this text block, after renaming that, Let's create that's a variable. Uh, jump into the event graph, and we don't need this too. We just need the event preconstruct. So right now, we have the hit button and the text block. So we could drag the text block here, and let's create a new variable called button text, and with a type of text, and let's compile. Make that instance editable and give it a default value of button text so we could see what that looks like. Grab that like that, get, and for the text block, say set text and assign that button text value and why that like that. Cool. Next, uh, on the hit button here, click on the on click. So we wanted to fire an event. So we're going to use event dispatchers here. So click on that and say, give it a name on click. And do a call on click. So on click, call this on click. So basically that's it. Let's compile, save, and let's jump back into the uh, content drawer right click and create another widget so this would be the main widget so let's call it main menu and this time we're going to drag the canvas panel and we're going to add a simple vertical box and this vertical box we're going to align it in the middle 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and probably size the content as well. 
cool next we're gonna add we're gonna search for that um buttons that we just created so under user created you would see the base button so you could drag that under your vertical box like that and you would see it's now showing so we need to give it a name so here under button text here say new game and i could copy that over like so and for the next button we could give it continue so you notice I'm not creating a new button every time. I'm just copy pasting the existing button. And then this is quit. So the formatting is not quite right. And there's this um, button showing there. So let me compile that and let's go ahead and fix that quickly. Go back to the designer here. For the hit button here, we actually don't want to show uh, the background color and this one so change the alpha to zero that should remove that and then for the text I thought I said justified in the middle and this one I'll expand that like that go back here and that is looking a little bit better cool now if you remember we did an on click because we did an on click dispatcher you would see we have an event here now called on click so you could click on that and from here I could do a print string this would be new game go back to designer here and basically you could do the same for the other button so click on that I'm gonna go to the quit and go here and click on that as well and I'm just gonna copy this control D to duplicate it and this would be continue duplicate and this would be quit and compile save now just for this demo we're gonna open the level blueprint and here do an event begin play drag out a node called create widget and select the main menu widget that we just created and from here we want to add to viewport and we also want to fix some controls so get player controller and set mouse cursor to true and drag here again and set the input mode to game ui only and wire those up compile save and hit play and when we hit play here it's not working i think the reason is because that button is here on the top left yep so to fix that go back to the base button here and we need to fix the uh, alignment so i want to do fill let me quickly stop this compile then play again and hit play now you would see that i could now be able to click on it cool so that's the video uh, quick and easy hope you like it in the next video we're going to cover how to animate this widget using material ui with reference to the ui material lab ui material lab so we're going to learn how to build one of these and with that cool animation like so cool stay tuned for that uh, hope you like this video thumbs up thumbs down cheers bye for now